We're focusing on Water Wednesdays this week on energy again, especially because it is energy week here in Barbados. And here at Bowmanston in St. John is one of the other renewable energy initiatives being spearheaded by the Barbados Water Authority and a number of other partners. Of course, with me is the man who has been the driving force behind renewable energy at the BWA, Nathan Hart, the project engineer. And this is what will be driving the pumping of water to at least just under a third of Barbados's household and population. Uh, Nathan, this is another very important initiative for the Barbados Water Authority, about 500 kilowatts 500 coming kilowatts. from this system. Mm -hmm. So Shane, you're correct, you say it's a 500 kilowatt watt peak um, system um, on the DC side, but in totality it's going to be 420 kilowatts on the AC side. That's just a bit of engineering. But as you, you, you Shane, you recognize I'm passionate about renewable energy. This project is a sister project to the UAE project that's happening at Bridgetown. Um, what we decided to do, Wayne and myself really, through the project management office, is split the project into two. Um, 500 kilowatts in Bridgetown, 500 kilowatts here um, in average here at St. John. This particular is the first phase to a 1.5 megawatt totality system that we're going to do for the, for the Bomiston pumping station. You're correct by saying that Bomiston is responsible for 25 to 30 percent of the island's um, water needs here in the rural, all of St. John, parts of St. George, parts of St. Joseph, and a tiny part of the St. Philip area in Mount Creek. Bomiston pumping station, Shane, is about, in terms of energy, $100,000 per month. This system that we are looking at, the first phase of it should reduce the operational cost of electricity at Bomiston pumping station by thirty dollars to $40,000 per month, together with the initiative in Bridgetown. The second phase is through the Green Climate Fund. And what we have slated for that through the project management office is between another 500 to 1,000 kilowatt additional PV system. When that comes online, Shane, we should see Bomiston becoming carbon neutral. It's still going to be connected to the grid, but my um, intention is really to have this station um, not pay uh, a electrical cost per se. So it's going to be still. And then what we are doing here at the Bomiston Pumping Station is a second part to the design of it. We have conducts and the infrastructure through a cool energy, which they are going to put in the infrastructure for us for battery storage. Climate resilience is our team at the project management office. And what we're hoping that in the event that, the, as I mentioned in previous episodes, that the grid is down, we should be able to still pump water to our citizens through the use of renewables. This is both project here in Lex Foley and Bowmanston, where we are right now. It's part of a fund uh, and a development fund uh, by Mazdar, uh, a part of the United Arab Emirates government. Uh, and it's part of um, uh, project development here in Caribbean. So we have also, also islands which are, which are having similar projects. And so Hakuo Energy uh, strive to, and we really choose our project uh, where we can have benefit for local communities. So here in this project, as you can see behind us, all the workers which are here are Bajan, actually. We didn't bring any manpower from overseas or abroad. All our manpower are fully Bajan. Uh, that's one point. The second point, what we are trying to develop with Nathan, is also to, to help uh, local community to grow. And so we have a project with the Lodge School, which are nearby here where we're going to help the students to design and build a little solar, solar system, uh, similar to what we do here, much smaller of course, but to help them develop the skill which the country and Barbados we need in the future to, to help with its energy supply. So this project here at Bowmanston will be up and running by December. So by that time, in just a few weeks, you will have a renewable energy system, 500 kilowatts, pumping water into your homes. Again, thank you for watching the program. To view this episode or a previous episode again, please visit our website, www.barbadiswaterauthority.com. You can go to our social media platform, either Instagram or Facebook, to get information there as well. Or just type Water Wednesdays in YouTube. You will find us there.